it's it's really interesting with analytics. You know, every time I I'm not a tra you know we I check the analytics on our site all the time, but I feel like I'm just sort of like poking around. And sometimes I'll find a nugget or things like that, but I feel I, I do feel intimidated because it's such a it's it's you know versus something like a Facebook where you're sort of guided through creating an ad. In mm -hmm. analytics, it's like you're in a fighter cockpit in a way, right? <laughs> there's there's a lot more stuff going on there. So I think what people are really interested in are sort of systems that you know here are the here's here's how you do a, a ten point check on your analytics mm -hmm. or something like that. Mm -hmm. And I assume like what are what's sort of your I don't. I don't know. Can you can you talk a little bit about your framework when it comes to actually setting up analytics and what are what are some of the key metrics that that that, you, that people need to be focusing on if they're okay. not? Okay. Yeah. Sure. So first of all, what we gotta do is make sure that uh, Google Analytics is tracking correctly. So when we do install the code, we do some initial testing. We go ahead. We visit from mobile phone, from a desktop to see does it get the country, does it get the device, does it get all that kind of stuff. After we enable the e-commerce tracking, which is not enabled, and I don't really know why, but you have to do that manually, there are a few things, really, really simple things that no one has to be really intimidated by this. First of all, conversion rate, super important. We have to know how many people out of a hundred, and even because some of the people that might watch the interview are not really uh, tech savvy or what, don't really know what the conversion rate is, conversion rate is what is the amount, the percentage of the people that they get to convert? What does convert mean? They get to do a sale. They get to, to buy something from our website since we're talking about e-commerce. So is it 1%, like 1 out of 100 people, 2 out of 100? And one of the simplest things that you can do, if you have 1% conversion rate, which is an okay conversion rate. It's sort of like an industry baseline in a way, right? It's an like, industry yeah, baseline, yeah, let's and all say. Sorts of things. You get one person out of a hundred people, but you pay for those a hundred people to come into your store and you get 1% conversion rate. Okay, let's say that this end, but what if you fix your, you look at your numbers and you fix your, your website in that way that you get a 2%. I won't go into five or 10%. Like you literally just double the amount of money that you are getting into your revenue simply by, by one thing. So. Conversion rate is super important. The other super important thing is average order value or AOV. So AOV, why? Because if I get on average on a customer, I get, let's say that he buys something which is 20 bucks every customer. And even if I get, I can get that 25 bucks or 30 bucks, literally I don't have to change anything else in my whole other strategy. So I'm spending the same, the exact same money, but I'm getting more from every customer. So conversion rate, super important. Average order value is super important. Then there are more technical, uh, technical stuff that they don't have to be super intimidating. So one of them is bounce rate. And I would stick to those three. Obviously, there are way more, but I don't want to overcomplicate it. So uh, conversion rate, average order value, and bounce rate. So what is bounce rate? How quickly people bounce, they get off your website as soon as they see it. So the bounce rate is measured by a percentage. So the biggest the percentage, the worst that the, uh, our stories perform. So an average industry, industry it's let's say 65-70%, but still it means that 70% of the people we just paid with Facebook ads or mm -hmm. Google ads or whatever that is, they just came to our website and they didn't even uh, spend more than one second in our store. So even if you get an, an average, let's say, of 80%, which means that 80% of the people didn't even see your landing page and you get it down to 75%, even 70 and even lower, it means that you start making more, more and more money for every customer, sorry, every visitor and potential customer that visits your store. So it doesn't really have to be intimidating. If you translate everything to money, then yeah. it becomes way easier. Way sexier. And those, and those three metrics are the key ones that people need to be looking at. I think th that's a really valid point. So, you know, I, I don't know that you're the biggest Marvel movie fan necessarily, yeah. <laughs> but if you had to be a, an Avenger, which which one might you choose? Probably I would be Doctor Strange. Like, <laughs> I like to think of myself like the geek I am, like the nerd I am. When, when people go out and have fun and they party, I go out and watch webinars or look at things I can change into stores on how we can make more, more things. So, I think I'm a little bit like Dr. Strange. Uh, people call me the uh, Mr. Google Analytics, no, right. Dr. Analytics. Dr. Analytics, I believe. Dr. Yeah. Analytics. <laughs> so that's one of the things that I really, really enjoy because I said Google Analytics is not sexy, but making money is. 
and I like making money. A hundred percent. Very nice. Thank you for coming awesome. Thank today. You. Yeah, Thank it's you. really good. I really look forward. I should announce also, I think it is clear, but Dr. Analytics will be a part of the upcoming e-commerce all-star secrets course, uh, our free mini course that we'll be putting out uh, for the world to learn the core skills that they need to grow an extraordinary business. Not just a, not just to, you know, they'll learn how to get by. That's the beauty of this course. You're going to learn how to get started, what mindset you need to have, and some of the core skills. But we're also going to be providing a lot of things that, that will allow you to take it to, truly to the next level and really have an untapped mindset. That's the thing I'm noticing from all of these interviews. Uh, and and frankly, all the people in the world who are, who are making headlines, for good and for bad, is they have this unbridled will. They have this, they, they're not small thinkers, right? They're people that are able to look at an opportunity and, and really think big about it. And, and, and I think that's what that runs through, through this whole course. And I'm really excited to be putting it on. I'm excited to be part of it. And like, guys, I'll make analytics sexy, I promise. I'll, I'll try, I'll, okay, I'll try my best. <laughs> nice. Very good. Well, thanks again. Awesome. Thank all you. All right. Thank you. Cheers.